All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with a real steel G frame here with me for a quick maintenance review of Stop uh, Hell Design. Pretty cool titanium frame lock, a very inexpensive knife. It's uh, kind of like a gentleman's uh, kind of carry. Really cool. The action is not. Yeah, let's see. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? I guess that's it. Yeah, T6, which, uh, yeah, not like particularly fond of, but we're gonna have to work with what we have, right? That's definitely a T6. So I'm gonna start, uh, actually, let's open the blade first like that. I'm gonna tackle the show side, see if, uh, so there's no Loctite, uh, the pivot is spinning. I'm tackling this thing on this side as well but we're gonna need a little bit more torque in this case we're gonna grab this bag boy right over here and it's gonna be handling the job like a boss stub your screwdrivers uh, have more torque so that's it no internal skeletonization there's nothing um no uh it's just bearings, like ceramic bearings on titanium, which is a no. I mean, usually you don't do that, but it's all right because we're talking about what, 100 bucks? I mean, there's some. Wow, pivot looks stuck. So let me see if I can just grab this thing out. And wow, there's some thick gunk here for sure. Oh, here, interestingly, there is like a hardened steel washer. Huh? But it doesn't seem to be here. Wow, it's there. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is like a. a an assembling mistake but definitely that shouldn't be there that's why the action was so bad now I'm suspecting we're gonna see pretty interesting improvement here because I mean this thing clearly has to go on the other side of the frame and anyways we got this cleaned everything is cleaned up let's clean on the inside as well because i like this knife it's um it's an interesting one guys so let's go ahead so we got uh, i think they are ceramic bearings guys so i think i even have skiffs for this but yeah no that's not gonna happen anyways one two three drops one for the detent and let's go back. Stop pin is integrated only on one side, then this, then you do the lube like so, and then you apply this, not in between. Come on, who did that? I don't Anyways, uh, we are here. This is the pivot, which is gonna go right there. Correct? Should be, right? Or, I mean, what is up? So I never force anything here. But here there's definitely something wrong. So uh, let's start from the anvil and see if we can manage to screw that in and looks like we can, so the handle is done. Okay, hmm, that's interesting. I really don't know what's up with this. Nothing is up, okay, <laughs> it, was, it was just me. All right, so now everything is back together. The blade looks pretty centered. It's super tight. Let's just uh, spread a little bit of that. Let's just undo 
a tiny bit oh yeah okay so blade looks definitely a little bit off action definitely improved guys oh my god look at this yeah of course now we are talking what was that guys very good there you have it guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and this is how you improve the action of a real steel g-force thanks for watching guys stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe